Hi everybody and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at plans and elevations. This is a topic that I know some students do find a little difficult. What we need to be able to do is to take a three-dimensional object and get used to looking at it and describing it from different directions. We're going to work through a couple of examples and hopefully make it a little clearer. Let's start by having a look at the shape on the left hand side of the screen here. It's a three dimensional shape. I guess it looks a little bit like the bottom of a staircase. Now, what we are being asked to do here is put ourselves in different positions in relation to this shape and consider what it might look like from that position. So what do I mean? Well, the words themselves, plan and elevation, could be replaced by the word view. So the plan of something is effectively its top view. It means you have to imagine that you are looking down at the object. Now, a front elevation means that you are maybe standing somewhere over here and you are looking at the front of it. So it is the front view. And in exactly the same way, we also try to place ourselves at the side of the object and look at it from a side view. So plan and elevation can really both be replaced by view, top view, front view and side view. In an exam question, then you may be asked to provide a diagram of what the shape would look like from the front, the side or the top. Sometimes you are asked for a sketch. In other cases, you may be required to use a small piece of graph paper to make a more accurate diagram. So let's have a look at this particular shape and start by looking at it from the front view. In other words, we're going to draw the front elevation. This is where a little bit of imagination comes into play. If we are going to stand ourselves here where the orange arrow is and look at this shape, then the only thing that we are going to be able to see is this side here. What we need to do then is recreate this shape accurately on the graph paper here. So the measurements matter to us. This has a base of six centimetres. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six centimetres. We then have a front edge here, which we know is two centimetres. So we would go up two centimetres. We then know from the measurement here that this line is three centimetres in one two three it then goes up here a further two centimeters so there's our two centimeters along the top now there isn't a measurement here you can see it's been left blank but we do know that the whole shape is six centimeters wide we know that the first step is three centimeters so to make up the six the top step must also be three centimeters if we check the height we have two centimetres for the first step, two centimetres for the second step. So the whole height is four centimetres. So of course, as we come down here, one, two, three, four centimetres. And there we have the shape from the front view. We have drawn a front elevation. The second thing we are being asked to consider is what the shape would look like from the side. So in the blue box, we need to create a side elevation. So let's have a look at that. Well, if we move round it to the side here and imagine that we are stood pretty much where the blue arrow is, we have to consider what we'll be able to see from that direction. And the answer is we will be able to see the front of the bottom step and the front of the top step. And because we are standing exactly in front of them, they would appear as rectangles, one above the other. So drawing at the side elevation, we now have a width of four centimetres. So we will be starting with a base there. We know that the bottom step goes up by two centimetres, which takes us to there. Therefore, from where we are standing, and that's the important thing, the bottom step looks like that. It is a rectangle four by two. Now, because we can only see the two blue shapes here, the next step to us will appear to be exactly on top of 
the first one. So second step will also be a rectangle and it will sit exactly on top of the bottom one, like so. And finally, we're being asked to draw a plan of the object. So what we need to do now is place ourselves immediately above it and again try to consider what we would be able to see from above. We would no longer be able to see the front of the two steps. All we can see from above is the top of two steps there. So we need to draw those two. And again, from above, there would appear to us to be two rectangles. The top step here, we know it has got a depth here of four centimetres. Therefore, we are looking at one, two, three, four centimetres. We know from our previous calculation that the top step here is three centimetres wide. So it would be three centimetres in that direction. And because we know it is a rectangle, it would look like this. We then have immediately next to it the top of the lower step, which is also three centimetres along in that direction, and therefore another rectangle which measures three centimetres by four centimetres. And we can check that measurement. There's our three, there's our four. So that is the plan of the object. Let's have a look at a second shape, and we're going to be asked to do exactly the same thing as we did with the last one but I'm just going to sketch the answers this time. So first of all, we're going to look at the front elevation and that's the orange arrow again. So if you are looking at the front, you can see that side there. Now this means that actually the front elevation is not going to look too different to what we already have on the picture because from the front, you would be able to see a triangle and it would look exactly like the triangle that we already have. That would be six centimeters and that would be eight centimeters. So that that is our front elevation, our front view. Let's move on to look at it from the side, from the blue arrow. Well, in this case, you would no longer be able to see that side. You would be looking straight at that side there. And again, from where you are standing, it looks like a rectangle. So we know that it is five centimetres wide. Therefore, we need to start the base at five centimetres. We also know that its overall height is eight centimetres. So we are going to have a rectangle which measures eight by five, five centimetres, eight centimetres. That is our side elevation or side view. Now, finally, we're going to look at it from above. Now, in this case, we actually, if you look at it from the position of the green arrow, we can still see that side. It is the same side from a different angle. So because you are looking at exactly the same part of the overall shape, you can see from here that it is also going to be a rectangle. And in this case, from the upper view, it is a rectangle which has five centimeters running that way, but the length from above is six centimeters. So your rectangle is five by six, and that is your plan. I hope that's helped. Uh, what might be a good idea is to look around the house and pick up a few objects and try having a look at them from different angles so you can understand what you can and can't see. If you have found that useful, please do subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover in the future, make a comment. Thank you.